Well, isn't this rather ironic? So when I pull off memes in my video game, that's a bad thing. But when this guy pulls out this meme from 2008, apparently that's okay. I'm sorry, am I missing something here? Really goes against everything he stood for when he claimed our game was nothing more than a giant meme. Yeah, how come he gets to be all meme-tastic and not us? Good question. Although I think the bigger question is, how come people are actually subscribed to this hypocritical schmuck? That who am I kidding? I still fuck him. But in which case, why don't we give the people what they really want and show them the next part of this Deadpool playthrough, huh? And welcome back to Deadpool, folks. Uh, in the last part, we saved Rogue from the clutches of another Mr. Sinister clone and Blockbuster. And now here we are, entering the, I guess, what you say, the, uh, Ruin level? Or in this case, uh, this is probably known as a Death Baby. Get it, high <laughs> Yeah, really. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, yeah, it's one of those cases where it's like, even now, it's like, I know they try to make it as inconspicuous as ever, but it's like, I can't, I still can't help but chuckle at that. All right, player, let's not be shy. Just start a. Mm, excuse me while I, look, while, while I look away for a second. Dude, what? Uh, Why? Dude inside us. Yeah, not in the fun way. What is that? It's a zombie. Wait. Oh, I. Oh, I get it. Zombies. <laughs> well, no, not necessarily that. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Stand next to the red barrel. But. <laughs> I. But um. So how do the controls work with this uh, guy that? We well, are now controlling. I don't think they do. I, th I think he's moving on his own, isn't he? No, no, no. You can no. You can still move him around or whatever. It's es essentially just like how how it would be with like um with if you were to control Deadpool regularly. Except of course he can't run. You can only just walk around aimlessly. But yeah, it, it's like at one point, yeah, you will end up you know getting blown up by mines or like the explosive barrels, which will play a much bigger role later down the road. But after that little section, we're now introduced hey, to man. death. See ya. Death, my girl. Omnipotent. Otherworldly. Hot. She totally wants me. Yeah, so... This is freaky-ass triangle going... A love triangle going on here with death. So, here's the thing. Thanos. We all know Thanos. Big guy, a big guy, tries to rule the universe, all that stuff. Thanos is in love with death. However, okay, of course, okay. you know, Death loves Deadpool, and Deadpool is just kind of like, oh, oh, look, hot girl. Um, so it's literally like, the only way De Deadpool can be with Death is if he dies. Which, which ain't gonna happen. Yeah, which is very yeah, fucking yeah, hard the to problem do. is that he, he can only, he, Deadpool only meets Death through these uh, near-death experiences. Not from Death itself, because as we all know, Deadpool can't die. Well, it's more complicated than that. Here's the thing. Um, Deadpool, yeah, Deadpool can't, it's very hard for Deadpool to die naturally, of course. However, yeah. here's the thing. Thanos knows that De Deadpool can only be with death if he dies. So, as such, Thanos granted Deadpool immortality uh, as a way to keep as a way to keep him from dying to ever be with death. Problem with that though is that um, Deadpool is so fucking annoying that, De that Thanos really wants to take that immortality away so he can kill him. But he knows he can't do- but, he, but Thanos knows that he can't do that because if he does kill Deadpool, then Deadpool wins and he gets- and he gets the girl. Okay, that's pretty fucking funny. Yes, it is. It, it, it's probably one of the- it, it's like one of the one of the bigger tra- probably one of the more hilarious tragedies that Thanos is forced to endure. It's like okay. either either let Deadpool win and be forced to endure his insanity for all eternity, or let or, or, or kill him and I lose and, and I lose my true love. You think they'll also you think they'll show up in the movies? If only if Deadpool were to show up, I have no idea. 
Also, I would just like to point out, or I would just like to say, until BJ brought it up, I had no idea that a character like Thanos also had a love interest with death. Well, it's a, 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 here's the thing. Um, so, I don't know much about the story with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, but that's coming out in like, a, in like less than a month or so. Actually, As of this recording, yep, like l less than a month. Actually, what's hold on? What's today? Today is is is, is uh, the twenty third. Yeah, so less than, less than a month from now. Um, and what's interesting? Yeah, Thanos is a playable character in that game. And what's interesting is his death line for when he die for when he's defeated or I guess you know dies. He yells, "No, my love!" <laughs> As he's he's screaming for death because. He's about to die, so he's screaming for 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 for, for, his, for his love to, to come to come get him. Huh. huh. Which makes me wonder that. Which makes me think that death may have some kind of appearance in the story mode of Infinite. Which will be which which is going to be sad actually because they finally bring in Death and Thanos, but now Deadpool isn't going to be in this game because they they can't put they can't put X Men characters in. So kind of missed opportunities here. Wait, they wait, they wait, hold up. They can't put X-Men characters in the game in general. So yeah. even like they can't even put Wolverine yeah. in the game. There's no X-Men characters. There's no Fantastic Four characters. It's, be, it's all because this is now technically a Disney property. So they're only able to put the Marvel, you know, the Mar the I guess the the main Marvel Cinematic movie characters in there. Like the Mar like the the Marvel characters that you see in the Disney made Marvel movies, those are the only ones that are going to show up. Fantastic Four and X-Men are completely out. Ah, be uh, yeah, because of Fox, or Sony, and all that stuff, right? Yeah, because X-Men is Fox, Fantastic Four is Sony, but they got lucky with Spider-Man at the very least. Which makes me wonder, why isn't at least Doctor Doom in the game? Like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know, right? I mean, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to recall, like, didn't Marvel technically do, like, some reboot of the Fantastic Four? That was still made by Sony, and the oh, only, was it? Oh, the okay, only reason they made that they made that movie was so that, so that they can keep the rights. It's a it's a dumb contract. They can only keep the Fantastic Four rights if it is if they continue making movies for them. So they're literally going to make, be making these craptastic movies in order to keep the rights for whatever goddamn reason why they would why they want to hold on to this to these characters that they that they're not even, that they're not going to use for anything except for making horrible movies is beyond me. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, we don't care if this film about this one particular uh, IP is crap or anything. We just want to make sure that we hold on to to these particular... We hold on the rights to this particular, uh, these particular heroes. That said, um, Ghost Rider was recently revealed as uh, confirmed for a playable character, making his return from Marvel vs. from Ultimate Marvel vs. Marvel Capcom 3. What companies made the Ghost Rider movies? I was that more or... I honestly don't know. Ghost Rider was Ghost Rider came out a long ass time ago, didn't it? I know there was a Ghost Rider two that there was a Ghost Rider two, I believe, but I forget if that came out before Disney's buyout or after it. I think it came out before. Go Ghost Rider, I think, was been around for a while. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I, I know the first one was. I'm, I'm talking about Ghost Rider two because there was a sequel to it that still had, that still had Nick Cage. Uh, let me look that up. I'm curious, actually. Good. That said, I love Ghost Rider. Don't care for the movies, but I do love the character. So. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt. When um. More than uh, likely. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh okay. Like a uh, Ghost Rider to a uh, Spirit of Vengeance. Yes. I um, think. um. The production companies involved were uh, was a uh, Marvel Studios. So it's like, yeah, no sign of like a Sony or Fox in sight. Okay, it, yeah, it says 2012 trailer. Okay, when did Disney buy out Marvel again? Uh, ooh. I know it happened sometime while I was in college. I totally forgot. Regardless of such, um, yeah, it look it looks like, regardless, yeah, it looks like Marvel still had the the full rights to Ghost Rider. Yeah. So either way, um. But yeah, I, I think it's safe to say once, yeah, once Infinite comes out, once I get it, um, I'll more than likely my mains will be Rocket and Ghost Rider. 
<laughs> there we go. Because they already confirmed the entire cast of the main the main characters anyway. Like the um, there's still DLC characters. Like there's still like they, they confirm like there's gonna be six DLC characters. Two of them are confirmed. One of them is Sigma, and the other one is Black Panther. But they haven't confirmed the other the other four. But people are already speculating that those other four characters are gonna be like um, we're gonna get like Venom. Uh, we'll we get like a Monster Hunter. And then what were the other two? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, a, a monster! Oh, yeah, mo yeah, huh. a, a monster from monster from from the Monster Hunter series. Nice. And what were the other two? I totally forgot. Um, there are this. Like pretty much, as lackluster as the cast is, it does at least have the most identifiable faces. And Jetta, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, right, before you go on with like a war, Marvel vs. Capcom, I just want to quickly point out um, this is technically the first time that we're introduced to him. If you guys recall, um, these a particular set of enemies that have like a that are surrounded by some blue aura or like have some shield symbol, which which of course indicated that not only were they very bulky as hell, but whatever damage they take, they auto regenerate health and whatnot. Um, this is a this is similar to that. The only difference here is that yeah, while they do while they're not. Near, while they're not nearly as bulky as the ones who are covered by the blue aura or whatnot, the ones that are covered in like orange aura and have like a flame symbol above it, they're way more um. They're, oh god, how do I how do I even say it? They're, they're way more uh, they're more dangerous in a matter of speaking. They, they they attack more and they and they deal way more damage. Just basically the bit, the gist of it. So essentially, like essentially the polar opposite of um. Of the shield guys. That said, remind me what's going on right now. Like, like, um, like I know death is helping Deadpool do something, but what what are they trying to do? Well, essentially, um, uh, death informs a Deadpool that Mister Sinister was was um taking these uh, corpse corpses in these ruins and harvesting them for DNA, and these souls still are still lingering in the ruins, and because of Mister Sinister, she can't claim them. She cannot claim these souls, so Deadpool is also essentially helping uh, Death like claim these souls within these um three uh, chambers. I believe that's how you uh, call them in this case. Okay. I, I I think that's what's going on. I could be I could have get like some info wrong. Don't quote me on that, but I'm fairly certain that's what's happening. But why am I getting Conker's Bad Fur Day vibes? Conker's bad Friday? Because the same thing happened there. Like there was a point where, when Conker got to like the, hor the, the horror level, like the, like the haunted mansion, like there were zomb there were zombies running around and like like death or I forget what I think Greg was his oh, name. Oh 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 Greg, no, it Greg was, was his I, name I, in that game. Like Greg, he, yeah. He, he like he like outfitted Conker with a shotgun as a way to like help kill the zombies. It, it, like in order in order for Conker to be able to progress through the level, but death but Greg also did that as a way to be able to you know, Harvest Souls as well, so it's looking eerily similar here. Hmm. Except I don't yeah, think- Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I remember that. Except that I don't think Greg was- I don't think Greg was sleeping with Conker, so either way. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, no, well, that, that is well, true. <laughs> well, this is Conker we're talking about, I mean, what put, wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. I mean, there was some <laughs> weird shit going on in Conker. <laughs> Where it's like, I was like, oh, these undead, what, they're way more annoying than cats. S seriously, unbloody dead. What's the bloody point? You're not wrong. Also, 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 real talk. Um, am I the only one who um, like cannot hear any audio from the game footage at all? I can't hear it either. Yep, same here. Duff. What the hell? That's okay. You'll fix it in post. I I guess, but it's but it's like I don't recall having this. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say anything. I was just I just assumed that it was my that it was my side. <laughs> you know, uh. all, you know, all those fails. If you don't manage to fix it, you can always put goofy music in the background, and it will still work because this is fucking Deadpool. She's not wrong, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that is true. You could put goddamn, like... you could put goddamn caramel dancing in the background, and it would still be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> 2008 all up in here, Deadpool. Oh God, no! It's like um, it's like or Deadpool the silent film. 
That's not. That is. That is logistic. That, that is logistically irredeemable for the for the merc with the mouth. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, he is really? called the merc no. with the mouth for a reason. No, no. Is it very is it the si the Deadpool silent film, or as we like to call it, Wolverine Origins? You're not wrong, though. He <laughs> in the beginning, before he became Deadpool, he you know that there there was a joke of him just never shutting up. Yeah. <laughs> Which was the right. reason why the bad guy in that movie shut, you know, sewed his mouth shut. I guess plus on top of that, at least for the most part, this is mostly just moitalizing enemies and not like, you know, like anything huge happening at the moment. Like, no important interactions between the characters. In, fa in fact, actually, if memory serves, I think this is another one of those cases where it's like, Kind of like how lo how relatively long the um the the prison level was and um and all of that jazz um I because just to uh, make sure just just so that these parts won't drag on for too long cause to, or whatnot um I I did divide it up there's like of course all right if you guys could tell there were like a three chambers that we had to go through. Because that's where, like, e because like those where the souls are located at. Like, there's a soul in at the end of each at the end of each of these chambers or whatnot that we gotta save. So because of that, I, if memory serves, I believe I divided this whole this whole thing up into like three parts. Hmm. Okay. That also said, missed opportunities because, but like like what you from what you said before. Mr. Sinister har is har harvested the corpse of of the deceased of this island to create to create his, cl his clones, correct? I believe so. And you need and you needed to fight the souls in order to harvest them so that way so, so death can properly get them. Or I w I don't think you fight the s I don't think you fight the souls per se. Or do you, do yeah, you, do yeah, you just fight the clones again. You fight the fight. Well, it's like in the, in you, this you, particular you, chamber, you're fi you're uh, yeah, you're fighting a lot more clones, of course. But I think there, I believe it's like a certain um, I mean, aside from fighting clones, there are like some certain uh, gimmicks with um, with a cer with a certain chambers. Like I believe the last chamber that I that I'm going through, um, be because there's act it actually leads to an achievement if you uh complete this entire level like while wearing certain hats or whatnot because Deadpool because Deadpool walks out of these chambers wearing certain hats and you'll see and you'll see what I mean. But um I know the last ch um chamber it's it's not so much killing a bunch of clones but it is like um certain mini games like little shooter shooter arcade like mini games. I guess like something I was kind of just trying to lead up to. Something, and this is kind of another complaint to the game, like, this, um, in, in terms of the enemy variety of this game, like, there's a decent amount, but I, but it does get a little bit repetitive, especially once you get to Genosha and you just fight a, a, a lot of the, a lot of the clones, like, we have, like, the, oh, we yeah. have your basic mooks, we have the telekinetic mooks, we have kind of the big mooks, we have, we have, we have the skinny mooks, and then we also have these random gambit clones. I feel like for an X-Men game, like, game with X-Men in it, especially with clones, I feel like they really should have focused on enemy variety, especially set, it, especially considering that if it's a plot point that Mr. Sinister used to the corpse, the corpses that he found on Genosha, which may I add, are the corpses of other dead mutants from when the giant Genosha war happened. I feel like there should be a lot more variety in, 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 uh, in, in, in mutant clones that Deadpool has to fight. Okay, and we're back, but with sound, with the sound back. Anyway, moving right along. Now within this section of this uh, first chamber, we'll need to follow death through these, to this very dark room. However, along the way, there are the, there are various treasure chests here, which you can get if you want to get some more Deadpool points. However, kind of like how it is uh, if you guys ever played the first uh, Gears of War game, if you stay in the darkness for too long, um, these dark spirits will attack you. Which, and of course, if you stand in there for too long, they will kill you. I've actually never you know, played a Gears of War game. Is it any good? Um, I mean, I to be, I mean, I know I play Gears of War one, two, three, and it's like, while I'm not too familiar with the story for what it is, it's it's not a bad third-person shooter by any means. It's actually pretty fun. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's like the only difference here is that, um, is that in Gears of War, 
it, they're, they're not dark spirits that are trying to kill you if you're out of the streets, you know, in flat out darkness and not trying to use light to get your way from point A to point B. No, you're attacked by locusts. Because, hmm. because that's, those are like the main uh, enemies you gotta deal with in that game of, they're called the locusts. My god, there's a lot of treasure chests here. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I, it's like, what the hell? Uh, I know, I know, right? It's a, it's a, it's a treasure trove in here. But also, there, but also, like, I remember when I, remember when I said there was like a gimmick going on uh, with each of these uh, chambers, or whatever. Well, as you're about to see here, wait, we're about hold to hold on uh, a second. Something ain't right oh, here. Hold on, I gotta pause this and. uh... <laughs> Look at your buddy's achievements. Uh, see, there was supposed to be an achievement that should have popped up right at that very section, but uh, his Xbox One decided not to do that. Okay, let me have a look. Ah, uh, here we go. Found all 11 treasure chests in the darkness of the tomb, as shown not too long ago. So there. Thought I'd go ahead and show that off to you, seeing as how your buddy Ryan here is trying to be a supposed achievement hunter. Anyway, we now return to my video game. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, as I was trying to say, um, here's the here's the gimmick with the end of this chamber. This is basically like, kind of like how it was when, uh, like, I believe it was in the beginning of part three or part four, but um, where it did like a little a throwback to classic Zelda games. Now this is a throwback to classic 2D platformers in general. Yeah, really. And and I and I and I I gotta say, I mean, it's like it's not much. But it is actually relatively cool to look at. This is like break the targets. A new <laughs> Starting off with a Mario warp pipe, if that wasn't obvious enough. <laughs> it. Uh, you, you, you could say, you could say that. <laughs> There's some pretty bright music in the background for this. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, the music used in, the, in this uh, particular level or whatnot, the, honestly, it honestly fits really well. Well, I mean, then again, I mean, I guess someone could possibly say the exact same thing for a lot of these, uh, rocket tracks throughout the various other levels. But, but in this case, considering the environments or whatever, yeah, I, I agree, this is a really nice piece. Why, why am I getting Batman Arkham Asylum vibes right now? Specifically the Scarecrow, hmm. this is the Scarecrow section. You mean the best part of the game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's it. This is the best part of this entire game. <laughs> no, I mean it's like if yeah, if you play if you play like Arkham Asylum, I mean it plays so radically different from the rest of the game, but oh my god, it's so much fun. Yes, yeah, like yes, yeah, like I know, I mean, I've seen a playthrough of Batman Arkham Asylum. I remember a few years back I played only a little bit of the game until I completely stopped. But I'm trying to recall with the scarecrow sections. It's like, weren't you basically just trying to go through these uh, 2D sections while avoiding a uh, uh, scarecrow's like view or whatever? Kind, so he yeah, doesn't catch you. Kind of 2D, but like I, I was also referring to the fact that you, that you do fight skeletons in those sections as well. Oh, huh. Like they're technically mooks, but like with the scarecrow gas, uh, Batman saw them as skeletons. Yeah. Wow, what a ripoff. <laughs> there we go. No Deadpool point left behind. Not even in his own, in his own schizophrenic world. <laughs> I want all of those upgrades, damn it. Oh, so good. I mean, I suppose that's not I, 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 mean, I suppose that's no different than any other game where you go into like, some weird alternate reality or dream world and are still able to leave leave with the friggin' with all the money and items that you that you accumulated in, in there. Mm, th yeah, that is true. Also, also, whoa! What what are the what are the odds? It's that barrel dispenser machine <laughs> with a vengeance. It even comes with a health bar. <laughs> exactly. 
So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. But seeing as how it shoots nothing but explosive barrels, just just hit the just hit the explosive barrels back into the dispenser's direction before the barrels explode until you take them out. And from there, you're able to unlock the first spirit. All right, one spirit down, two more to go. So join us next time as we take on the second chamber to save the second spirit. We will see you guys then.